Hello everyone, welcome to anubhavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are talking about RESTful ABAP programming model. In the sequence of these videos, by far we have able to create our business object in context of RESTful ABAP. We were able to define our entities, our behavior definition and able to implement first managed behavior implementation for RESTful ABAP. In this sequence of videos, we are now testing our business object using entity manipulation language. By far, we were able to create, update, and delete our business object instances into the database. And now, we are learning how to read the business object instances from the database using entity manipulation language. So, let's get started and understand what exactly we have in entity manipulation language, EML, shortly, uh, entity manipulation language, shortly called EML, is part of the ABAP language for us to manipulate the business object of RESTful programming model. This is the one of the best way to test our business object at runtime using static ABAP code. The syntax to read uh, the business entities are read entities, root entity name, entity alias name from keys. You have to pass the keys on what basis you would like to read and then result will come in an internal table ET results. Just in case your read fails due to mismatch of keys or something, the system will collect that response into failed messages and reports you the error messages in reported. So let's get started back to our ABAP development tools in Eclipse. And here is where we are now going to implement the read operation. So those who are watching this video directly, maybe you not understand everything. That's why I would recommend you to go back to the playlist where we have complete end-to-end -end tutorial explained from the scratch how to create your first BO and then define your entities and finally perform the create, update, and delete by far. So let's add another condition for the read. So when it's read operation, we are going to create. So let's write the method for read here. So I will directly say read entities of my CDS data model, my business object for RESTful application programming, and then I will say entity, orders and you can refer the syntax from the keys properties you have to pass so from you have to pass the key so key is an internal table so I'll use value expression in ABAP to pass my order ID what's the property name let's go and check it's SOID sales order ID and we'll pass it as two and this results will be collected into the result table and we will declare it at onfly and just in case of failure it comes into LT failed in case of reported it issue it comes in the reported very nice so that's your read statement for read entity. And now hopefully you should get the data in LT read, which we can just print immediately out here on the result. Now, interestingly, you also have to specify what exactly you want to read as part of this collection using control structure. And then we will just declare it with the value hash. And let's declare the values over here. So now I would like to read the sales order ID. We want to read everything so let me put all the properties we have the company which is buying the sales order basically the customer amount field I want to read to read also the currency code and finally the order status so that's my control structure I'll just save this up activate and since the data is available for this key we should be able to read that you can go and cross check 002 and about trainings 3000 us dollar approved and i can just come back and press f9 and there you go you can see the system is able to read this data from the uh, from the help uh, from the database by the help of entity manipulation language 
by instantiating the business object of RESTful ABAP and we are able to get that out of the system easily. So that's it for the session. Thank you so much for watching. If you think this video is helpful, please feel free to subscribe and share this with your colleagues so that they can also understand the concepts of RESTful ABAP. For the complete end-to-end -end training on RESTful ABAP programming with uh, ABAP on cloud, feel free to subscribe our trainings on anubavtrainings.com. With that, Anubav signing out. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.